Hello everyone. Today I wanted to show another method that can be used to solve the disappearing curve problem in Civil 3D. After my original post on this topic, I received a comment recommending an option that is newly available to us in Civil 3D 2018. So thanks Johan for the comment. While I discussed other methods such as using additional baseline alignments and profiles in the corridor, I should have mentioned that 2018 gives us the ability to use a dynamic feature line extracted from the corridor as a new baseline in the same corridor. So let's take a look how to set this up. You can see here on the screen I'm pretty much where I started in the first disappearing curve video. And just so you know, I'll post a link to that original video down in the description. So here I have a corridor running up to a simple intersection and I have an alignment, a horizontal alignment, no curves, just an alignment representing the curb return. Now over here for assemblies, I have an assembly with a curb and gutter on the left and on the right, I have nothing right now. And you can see below I have an assembly with just a curb and gutter. So you can already tell I'm getting ready to use multiple baselines, but the key is how do we get to that baseline? So if we're going to extract a corridor feature line representing this edge going around the curve, I first have to get my corridor to follow this target. So let's do that first. I'm going to select the corridor, go to corridor properties. I'm going to select all targets. And for the right side, I'm going to select my right curve. That is that horizontal alignment so that that edge will follow the curb or the curb return. So here we go. And as you remember from the first video, the problem is if we just put the curb on the end, we will not carry perpendicularity to this curb return. It will be perpendicular to the center line, which would make the curb disappear in the first place. So now if I didn't have 2018, I could make another baseline using this, even this alignment here for the curb return. But the problem is I have to have an alignment and a profile kind of in the traditional sense or in 2017, I could extract that corridor feature line, but it wouldn't remain dynamic to the corridor, if that makes sense. But 2018 gives us the ability to do all that with one extraction. So let's go ahead and extract that feature line. I'm going to select the corridor. Up on the launch pad, I'm going to go up to Extract Corridor Feature. Create Feature Line from Corridor. You see it there? Now it says to select the feature line that you're interested in. I'm going to grab the edge for the edge of travel. And I'm going to hit enter. And notice here we can see all of the edge of travels that are stacked up here based on the depths. So I'm going to turn all these off and only add one feature line for the standard top ETW of edge of travel way. One important thing here is to click the settings and make sure that we click the dynamic link. So as the, this corridor changes, we want this extracted feature line to change as well. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and name it here. I'm just going to name it ETW and let's hit extract. So now if I hover, you can see that auto feature line named ETW that was created, extracted now still dynamic to the corridor at that location. So now I'm going to use this new extracted feature line as a baseline in the corridor. So I'm going to select the corridor and I'm going to click add baseline from the ribbon. And this time I'm going to select feature line and notice in the list here, if I have the site none selected, you can see my feature line. If I didn't see it, I can select the button here to pick it from the graphics. So let's hit OK. Now we have a baseline and now we need to create a region. So I'm just going to click the corridor properties. I like to set regions here. You can also do it from the ribbon, of course. So I'm going to, here's the new baseline and I'm going to right click and say add region. And I'm going to select my ETW, that is my assembly with just the curb and gutter on it. And let's hit OK. Rebuild the corridor. So now you can see the curb and gutter down the entire length. And since this was a baseline, or the baseline was along here, we're going to be perpendicular to that baseline and our curb will not disappear. So thanks to Civil 3D 2018, we can now use a dynamic corridor feature line extracted as a baseline. The goal today was to show a second method for solving the disappearing curve. Thanks again to Joan for the comment. I hope this has been beneficial. Have a great day.